What went wrong with Aeromed? We're learning how a medical helicopter got lost while trying to respond to a deadly crash in Kent County yesterday. The Oakfield Township Fire Chief is telling us that he does not believe it had an impact on what happened at the scene, but it's something they need to make sure never happens again. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel starting us off tonight at 6 after talking with the fire chief about this big mix up. Yeah, Brian and Sue, the chief estimates that they were working for more than 15 minutes to try to get Aeromed to their landing zone along M57 before paramedics decided to transport two people to the hospital by ambulance. And he says the pilot explained an error with their map system sent them several miles away from that scene. Yeah, Aeromed, we just sent the ambulance uh, heading to the hospital, so you may disregard. Med 1, understood. Sorry for the uh, confusion here. Yeah, no problem. Oakfield Township Fire requested Aeromed to this scene on M57 west of Wabasis Avenue Thursday evening. One person died at the scene. Two others needed to be transported to Spectrum Butterworth Hospital. So they set up a landing zone half a mile from the scene at the fire station. Setting up their LZ landing right at the Oakfield Fire Station by the ball diamond. Aeromed never made it though. Chief Sam Peterson spoke to the pilot this morning. It had to do with the software update in their computer system and the coordinates being in a different format. They told me that the coordinates that they had that the computer spit out to them uh, put them 22 miles northwest of our scene. So nowhere near us. That's why we couldn't see them. Yeah. 11 miles too far west, 8 miles too far north. I was trying to figure out where they were and why they weren't arriving. At one point they said, we should be above your scene. And we were all looking around, not seeing anything. So we knew they had to be in the wrong place somewhere. Chief Peterson says he doesn't blame anyone for the mix-up, and they've already taken the step to make the permanent landing zone for Oakfield Township the baseball field next to the station. Now, if the need ever arises, we can just tell them, come to LZ landing zone, or Oakfield LZ landing zone, and it's already in their computer system. It'll take them right to us. Okay. Now, we did reach out to Spectrum Health, which operates Aeromed, to find out what's being done to fix yesterday's mistake. We are still waiting for that answer, and when and if we get it, we will post that to woodtv.com. Reporting in studio, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.